TennesseeTigers.com here with head coach Ron Reed. Uh, coach, kind of uh, some thoughts about this evening's game against Jackson State. Very disappointing loss. Uh, I thought the kids gave effort, but didn't execute uh, defensively. You know, they had their way with us, and that's not um, the kind of defense we play at Tennessee State. We're not going to play that kind of defense. Uh, we'll have to get in and get that fixed. I thought our offense fought, offense fought all night long. We were able to run the ball, throw the ball. We did whatever we needed to do in the second half after we made some halftime adjustments. But uh, defensively, you know, I thought, you know, we got some things fixed. We came out and got a couple stops in the uh, second half, but it wasn't enough. You know, credit to them. Uh, they did a good job preparing. They attacked us where we were weak. Uh, we had a couple guys out, but there's still no excuse. Uh, you know, Deshaun Bryant didn't play, and, uh, you know, we still got a couple of corners out. But uh, at the end of the day, they ran the ball on us. And if a team is able to run the ball on you, that means they were more physical than you were uh, that day. And we got out physical today, so uh, we got to go back to the drawing board and get that figured out. Um, Cam Rosenbaum comes in uh, just before halftime and kind of you know, moved down the field in one minute, scored, and then led another spark uh, through the second half. Uh, talk about him and uh, his results. Well, hindsight is 2020. 20. You know, uh, we didn't think that, we, that Cam should have started. You know, he didn't take any reps all week. Uh, but, you know, he felt well enough to play today. We worked him out a little bit yesterday. Uh, he moved around pretty good. But, uh, you know, we've got a conference season coming up and, and, and all of that, and we didn't feel it necessary to start him. But, you know, when uh, Octavius struggled a little bit, you know, throwing the football, we thought we needed him. We, we knew we saw something, you know, uh, in the secondary and, and in the defense where we could get some balls thrown, and we had to get him in there, and uh, he was able to be real successful. Big uh, performance by... Uh both Stephen Newbold and Chris Rowland, uh, obviously a dangerous pair, but uh, um, you know you, you, you kind of did it even with your running attack and and even in depth without Malik Moore and falls out of the backfield. We learn how to play defense will be dangerous. Where uh, do you kind of go in this week and uh, kind of restructuring that from the defense? It's a very talented unit. Uh, yeah, I mean you know we we got talent. We got to get guys back on the field. You know, Deshaun Brown is probably our lead tackle. He didn't play tonight. Uh, we got to get him back in the fold. You know, we started two fresh. We had two freshmen out there rotating in and out at the linebacker spot. But you know, training those guys up with what they were doing, it wasn't that hard. We just got to wrap up. We got to tackle. A lot of times we were making contact in the backfield and we weren't tackling and wrapping up, and we weren't getting enough people to the ball. So um, that's something. That's effort. You know, and we we're never gonna coach effort here. That's something that's a given. So we got to do a better job of uh, uh, getting those guys uh, to see the magnitude of this game. We knew that this was going to be a dogfight coming out. This, this wasn't uh, this Tennessee State Jackson State. I said that in all of my pregame interviews and all of that. So we knew it wasn't going to be an easy task. But I thought that our offense gave us a chance up until the last drive uh, uh, to, to make something happen.